Okay, hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Andrew. Welcome to another episode of Storytime Sunday. And this week we are going to be looking at Do Schools Take Bullying Seriously Enough? It's a topic I feel that I want to talk about as well as one of those that's on my to-do lists on the productivity board. So I am going to chat about it this week. Now I have, as I've said before in these videos, been through bullying myself. I do know a fair amount about it. I'm not one of these people that sort of talks about it but actually not knowing an awful lot about it because I do feel there are people that do that out there. However, I've been through it myself so I do know how it feels. I know how to resolve it and some of the things I might say you might not always agree with but you know, at the end of the day, it's my opinion, and you're welcome to comment and, you know, let me know on yours. I'd love to hear your opinions, and even if it's agreeing or disagreeing, I'd love to know. I'd love to have conversations with you all, but I'm just going to go ahead and outline my sort of opinions on the matter and sort of talk probably at too much length as to what bullying is and how it can harm people. So let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so bullying affects people physically, mentally and socially. So by physically, obviously if they get hit or hurt, then it affects them that way. Mentally, it will get into their mind eventually, obviously. The more people are bullied, the more it goes to their head, as I remember finding out. The more I was bullied at school, the more socially awkward I felt. I'll go into that a little bit into more detail. but pretty much and then socially it's just obviously people seeing you being bullied don't want to associate themselves with you because they then don't want to get bullied themselves and then that's how it all starts you don't then have any friends and it is difficult to then genuinely build yourself back up after that it's not just those being bullied that are affected either it's well known that bullies are treated that most bullies are treated in a similar way outside of school some even being bullied at home it then becomes a learned behavior which they think is acceptable so yes, I was, as I said before, bullied at school. I was bullied quite badly and eventually when I left it all came to a head that the main person bullying me was actually treated awfully outside of school. And so that is kind of why they picked on me and others at school because they decided that it was a learned behaviour and so they just sort of went with it. I'm not saying that's how it always starts. I'm not saying that's 110% the learnt behavioural code. I'm just saying that that's how most of it kicks off and most of it starts, in my opinion anyway. Uh, as I said before, the victims of the said bullying then in turn start having social anxiety, not wanting to go to school. Uh, the performance at school may also start slipping at school because I'll see of this, maybe like grades or scores or whatever. Uh, prospects, future hopes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Self-confidence will start to go as well. Just, it is so well known that if you are bullied at school, your self-confidence will eventually start slipping down. And obviously when it does, obviously there's no real getting back up from that unless you get a massive boost. If you see someone being bullied, you should. First of all, report the problem. Teachers may be able to stop the bullying in its tracks before it goes too far. People told me just to report it, report it, report it at school and I was telling them you're daft, you're out your mind, you're stupid. I don't want to do that because it gets worse. It doesn't, trust me. You have to report bullying. If you're being bullied, you have to report it. It's the only, only way that you're going to get over it. You have to report it. You have to get it out of your mind. You have to get away from it. You have to report it. The teachers will be able to help you. Even if the school don't do anything about it, the teachers will be able to give you support, talk to your parents, talk to whoever you're at home with, they will be able to help you, I promise. Uh, if you see someone being bullied as well, comfort the person, you go and speak to them, because uh, sometimes support and comfort from friends and close by people can help dissolve a situation, make them feel more socially welcome and stable in the environment that they're in. I remember as soon as I associated myself with a group of friends, the bullying stopped, so just Find someone to associate yourself with and associate yourself with them. I know that making friends isn't easy, alright, believe me, I know it's not easy making friends. But it's, at the same time, it's not impossible, so you've, you've just got to go and speak to someone and hopefully they will help you out, alright? Uh, I personally feel it's something that schools need to be more strict with. Saying you have a zero tolerance policy for bullying and doing nothing about it isn't good. 
uh, support the children who are being bullied as well as supporting the children who may well be having issues at home. I feel strongly about that one because I've known in the past for the people who are the bullies and having issues outside of school to receive all the support and yes that's absolutely fine, they do need support and help, I'm not saying they don't, I'm, I just feel like you need to support the people who are being bullied more, or no not more sorry, as much as just because their lives are just as awkward. It's just a roundabout cycle, I know I don't have the worst life in the entire world and I couldn't ask for any more in my life. but. I just feel that sometimes bullying isn't quite taken as seriously as it could be. But that's about it for today's video. As I said, if you found this too controversial, then I am sorry. But I just have such a strong feeling for it. And I feel like it's generally not taken seriously enough. And I would love to see it taken more seriously. So if you have any comments, please do put them down below. I'd love to hear what you think. And as ever, my name's Ben Andrew. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you very, very soon. Adios.